I really wanted to be here tonight for a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, I think this award uh, in Paul Douglas's honor uh, is the most special honor that I've ever had. And uh, I think it's special because Al and I are receiving it for simply telling the truth, for doing what we thought was right. I'll tell you a story, and Dick will appreciate this. One cold day, a year ago, April, Al and I were having dinner. As you can imagine, with Al and me, we had a couple of glasses of wine, about 40 oysters, <laughs> and we were both frustrated. We were really frustrated with the whole system here in Washington. We were frustrated with politics in general, and we said to each other, to hell with it. And that's as clean as I can make it. My <laughs> <laughs> we said, to hell with it, let's just do what we think is right. Right for our country and right for our grandchildren. And we agreed that if the world laughed at us, if they ridiculed us, if they called us the Cat Food Commission, if we only got two votes, for what we truly believed in, then so be it. At least we could go home and look our 15 grandchildren in the eyes and tell them we hadn't let them down. We'd done what we felt was right. Right for them and right for America. The next morning after we made this momentous decision, we went back to our little office up here on the hill and we told Bruce and our young staff that we had the most terrific young staff you've ever seen. We told them exactly what we were going to do. Well, at first, they looked at us, uh, and they looked at us like we were crazy. And then they seemed kind of stunned. But to our delight, before you know it, we were almost swallowed up by their delight. And that is how Simpson Bowles was born. I'm proud of that document. It has stood the test of both time and careful scrutiny. And I've never been happier in my life, Dick Durbin, than when a bipartisan majority of brave souls stood up. They stood up to all of that political pressure and they voted yes. In Al's, in my opinion, these brave souls deserve this award every bit as much as we do. They deserve it because many of them had to stand up for election. Election before a public that is constantly bombarded with confusing and misleading statements from both the left and the right. I want to thank these brave souls by name. First, the senators. Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. Kent Conrad of North Dakota. Judd Gregg of New Hampshire, Tom Coburn of Oklahoma, and Mike Crapo of Idaho, and Congressman John Spratt of South Carolina, Ann Fudge of New York, and Dave Cody of New Hampshire. But most of all, I want to thank the best partner, any co-chair, could ever hope to have, Senator Al Simpson. I'm going to make this short. I love Al Simpson. To be his friend, to have earned his friendship, his trust, and his confidence is a gift that I will carry in this heart of mine to the day I die. Thank you all so much. This is a good <laughs>